We're doing something totally different today. Salmon candy. You see, I got my uh, helper. What, what is it you're gonna do here? I'm gonna eat. Eat. <laughs> She's gonna eat a salmon candy. One cup pink Himalayan sea salt with the larger crystals. One cup of brown sugar. One quarter teaspoon cayenne pepper. You can use kosher salt, and I ordinarily would, but for some crazy uh, reason, or uh, whatever the right words are, I, I ran out and didn't even realize we didn't have any. Okay, so we've got this all mixed up. Now I want to take, you know, it doesn't have to be measured or anything, but I want to take roughly half of it out. That's roughly half. Sit this down like so. I get this that I spilled. Now let me show you what I've got here. This is a pound and a half wild caught sockeye salmon. I'm going to cut this into slices. I'm eyeballing, as you can see, roughly an inch each. By the way, you leave the skin on it, it's just fine. I'm going to bring that mixture back into the pitcher. We want to put these guys skin side up. Just kind of press them down in here, best you can. Tight fit, but we got them down in here. Now you want to take the rest of that cure, mix, whatever you want to call it, and we want it to go on the top of these guys, just like so. Just going to cover it with the lid. I don't know if this is the right lid. Yep, looks like it'll work. Put this in the fridge for about four to five hours. It's been four hours, 15 minutes. We're going to pop the lid on this salmon, maybe, show you what it looks like. Now you see all this liquid? That's what this cure does for you. Look at that beautiful, can you see how bright, let me turn that over, how vivid, look at the color. Is it not beautiful or what? I mean, gorgeous. What I'm going to do is take this inside in the kitchen, I'm going to wash it off. Pat it dry with paper towels and let it air cool for about 30 minutes to dry out. Had this salmon, it was in the fridge for about 30 minutes, then I brought it out here. It's been sitting here about 10 minutes. Here are our biscuits today for this uh, Bradley smoker. I know you're thinking he's going to use alder. I'm not. I'm going to use maple today. I'll show you why in a bit. I've got four biscuits here. Gonna shut this door. I don't know how well this shows up in the video. 93 degrees and I haven't even turned the smoker on yet. What I'm going to do is let's press the temp. We're gonna dial her up. Two hundred degrees. Timer. I'm not exactly sure how long it's gonna take. I'm going to put it on three hours. It's not going to take three hours, I don't think. And then smoke. I want the smoke today. You saw I put four biscuits in. I want the smoke one hour, 20 minutes. Now I already have my water in here. I've got the drip tray. You don't need this. I just want it in there so it'll help catch the drippings and not make a big mess. What I'm doing here, just spraying this so it won't stick. Now we'll just put our salmon in here. I hope you can see that in the video. It's when you're a one-man show, you don't know what everybody can see. There's our salmon. Let me get it right here. 
get that piece over the tray. I want to try to keep most of this drippings in the tray so I don't mess up my smoker. Let me get the lid shut. We've been one hour. What I've got here is a half a cup of real maple syrup and two tablespoons of dark rum. And I'm just going to paint the top of each of these pieces of salmon with that maple syrup and rum. I'm just going to put our salmon back in this Bradley. Get the lid closed. It's been another 30 minutes. Look at it. Does it not look gorgeous? I think what I will do is, you know, I have this drip pan in here. Let me pull it out so I don't make such a big mess. We're going to hit it up with our rum maple syrup glaze. Just look at it. It's been another 30 minutes. This is one of the things I'm loving about this Bradley. It holds the temperature within just a couple of degrees. Look at our salmon candy. Is that some beautiful color or what? Just going to hit each piece up again with that maple and rum glaze. I can feel they're getting firm, they're getting close. Just get them pushed back in there. Let's get the door shut, let them, oh wait, I got one piece here. I want to get this over the pan, I don't want it messing up my smoker in terms of cleanliness. Let's get it shut. We got our salmon candy here. Look how beautiful red it is. It's very red. Huh? Yeah. Now, this is going to be kind of like salmon jerky, right? We dried it out. We put that maple syrup on it. Bourbon. You don't, you don't know what no, I did. No, no, rum. You I put, put rum. rum. Rum and maple syrup. Rum. Okay, so a little I'm, red rum. I'm getting a piece. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the collar. It's just beautiful. You're going to get a piece? Now, the skin's on the back side, so don't eat the skin. See how it peels right off? This is going to be like salmon jerky, except better. It's called salmon candy. <laughs> it tastes like salmon jerky. That's what it is. Salmon candy jerky. I've never had anything like this before. Delicious. It's good. Fresh sockeye salmon. Dried after jerky. Maple syrup. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe. Leave us a comment.